Hello there. If you are watching this, congratulations. This is a very random and sort of limited edition vlog slash workflow video that happens every blue moon. So today I was, you know, just had the day off. It's gonna make a cortado and I was like, hey, got a tripod, got a camera, might as well record the thing and post it. So if you're into that sort of thing, just, I guess, stick around. And if you're not, that's cool too. But today I'm making a Cortado at home with my Gaggio Classic Pro, my Turin DF64, and all the other random gadgets that you see. The coffee for today is from Olympia Coffee. So Olympia Coffee is where I work in Seattle. It is a great coffee company and the coffee itself is Big Truck, which is a blend of coffees. One is from um, Colombia, it's washed coffee, and the other is a natural Ethiopian. So this is one of my favorite espresso blends, or just really blends of coffee, I guess, altogether. It's delicious as filter too, but I like it more for espresso. That was just my quasi temperature surfing thing that I do. I flush until the light turns off. I start the espresso shot when the light turns on. And I think I stole that, I didn't steal it, but I borrowed it, that idea from Lance Hedrick. I think that was what he said to do, but I could be wrong. I'm also gonna do the little pre-infusion thing where you just, you know, crank it a little bit. I'm at six bars normally, so that probably takes it to about four bars with the amount that I turn the steam knob, but it just lets some water out, which restricts the flow a little bit to the group head. Works really well. I've been really enjoying my shots recently. They've been consistent, which is super nice, um, and tasty, which is even better. Well, actually, I don't know if it's better, but it's important too. Uh, definitely I'm into the removing the drip tray method. The angle that I get for the steam wand is just great. Reminds me of steam and milk at work, except the steam knob is nowhere near, or the steam wand, and the steam power is nowhere near the power of uh, La Marzocco Strada, but it is still capable, that's for sure. I've had the Gasha for almost two and a half years now, actually more than two and a half years, so I'm thinking about doing a review video, like another one, because I did one already a year in, but my thoughts on that video are very different now. <laughs> Um, so I might do another one, and then I'll probably review the Turin and my Kinu uh, as I do that as well. But that is maybe going to happen, maybe not. You, you just never know. So there's a little Cortado. There's a little four-tier tulip on that guy. And that is the end of this video. So if you stuck around, congrats. If you didn't, um, I guess you won't hear this, but goodbye. Have a nice day.